United States was a country founded in slavery and one which a hundred years after slavery's official dissolution remained half equal and half free. The Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. was a pacifist, a Baptist minister, a spiritual man with a dream to eradicate injustice, and a brilliant tactician with a plan to make that dream come true. It was a plan which called for non-violent but unremitting resistance to racial discrimination in all its sanctioned forms. And it worked. Dr. King commanded respect and attention for a civil rights movement whose time was long overdue. He rallied support for the cause through masterful oratory and personal charisma. But mostly he did it through shining example, absorbing physical beatings, jail terms, and scathing criticism from enemies and supporters alike without ever veering from his path. It was a path that led him to such ordinary outposts as Memphis, Tennessee, where he journeyed in April 1968 to lend support for a strike by that city's sanitation workers. It was there, standing on the balcony outside his room at the Lorraine Motel, in the dimming sunlight that afternoon, that the 39-year-old Nobel Peace Prize winner made one final sacrifice for his cause. This is an NBC News Hotline Special Report. Here is Don Hickman in Memphis. Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. was shot. Dr. King's aims of racial harmony and economic justice remain far from settled. His personal legacy remains an inspiration to millions of others. Through their efforts, 